Welcome back. I'm doing the Hot Ones Challenge for a third time because I said I would. I didn't think we would make it here today, but here we are. And I'm terrified. The only thing... It gave me PTSD last time. And the only thing I can compare it to is... Like a couple years ago when I injured my knee from snowboarding and that first time you go back after an injury and you have a little bit of that like that fear because you just you know what's coming for you that's how I feel about doing this for a third time but it's a totally different season so I guess this could go a totally different way also made a big 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 revelation that I did not disclose in my last video which is I thought I had the the bomb sauce and it turns out I did not have the is it the beyond insanity ones I had a its little brother or sister but I got it so now we're doing the real deal this is the season 22 set of hot sauces we're gonna go through I'm gonna answer some questions that I had some of my followers ask me and fucking go from there I I don't want to do this I don't want to do this in the slightest but I am doing this thing where I follow through with the shit I say I'm gonna do so here we are by the way if you haven't noticed already Papa's here is extremely codependent has nothing to do with me and he will likely almost always be on my lap if I'm somewhere at home sitting so He's our permanent guest. The first one we are beginning with, the buffalo hot sauce. And this is a new Hot Ones classic. We're just going to go in and start. Mmm. That one's a really smooth buffalo. And I, low-key, don't normally like buffalo. Buffalo's a little too citrus for me. I might be a weirdo, but... Off to an excellent start. All right, moving on to number two. The Angry Goat Blistered Shishito and Garlic. And what I had heard about this one was that just like if you were to order shishito peppers at a restaurant, it's a little unexpected in its flavor... And you might get some spicy, you might not. But generally, I think this is supposed to be a little bit more mild. Oh my God. That garlic in there. This one's so good. This one's getting out of the roster for sure. Mmm. That one is absolutely delicious. All right, you guys need to go. You guys need to go. You guys need to go. Come on, get get down, go away. I love you to death. Oh no. <gasps> I need a drop cloth, man. I can't be entrusted to eat on any furniture at all. And I don't know why I just can't be a tidy human being. 80s wrestler you wanted to be. I wanted to be Mick Foley because Mick Foley always kind of spoke up about industry shit. And he really didn't give a damn about what was cool or being trendy or conforming to the norm of that industry, and I always loved him, respected it. And he was always himself, and he was always, like, a big dreamer. We're off to a great start. That that angry goat was absolutely phenomenal. Number three is the Piscuea. The, oh, this is a spicy, sweet passion fruit. I've been looking forward to this. Caribbean-grown passion fruit is the star of the sauce that makes any wing a sticky, tropical treat. Mm-hmm. 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 
they really hit it out of the park with these sauces. These more mild ones are amazing. Well done. Well done. Wow. I would put both of those sauces, all three actually, on any of the... By the way, I'm super proud of the way I made my wings this time around. They're really good. Are they, aren't they? They're delicious. I followed a Gordon Ramsay recipe with a hint of Jen. All right, number four. This one is the Hot Ones Los Calientes Barbacoa. And I actually love barbacoa, so this is going to be a real treat. Oh my goodness. That's really good. No? I'm making an absolute mess. I definitely need Tide as a sponsor. Because this is, I'm... Are you watching me drop food over here? I was watching this content creator who does manners, etiquette stuff, TikToks and reels. And it was about how to eat sushi properly and not make a mess. And I was like, I could follow all of your directions and instructions and I will still make a mess. Like, it just, I don't think it's possible to undo my messiness. I would love to. Your number one female wrestler. I don't know that I could pick one. I could pick three. Trish Stratus, Lita, and probably Jazz or Mickey James. But I think the last two might be a tie. China's up there, so maybe the, we'll make that the top five. I got five. In addition to a whole bunch of others that I love, but that would be my top five. But Trish Stratus and Lita are tied for me. Number five is the, is it Diablo Power Jab? And this one is supposed to be a mix of Italian, Jamaican round, and Asian teardrop peppers with powerful aromatics like ginger and garlic and this is the bottle i actually really like this bottle definitely some heat there but it's really good still delicious I really need a drop cloth or a tarp it's got a little bit of heat to it but it's not too bad that one's really enjoyable number six is the Marshall's whiskey smoked ghost and this one has some whiskey in it we're diving in because we're gonna get over the hill here pretty soon I'm not tasting as much heat as the other one. So that was the that was the whiskey smoked ghost. I'm not feeling as bad as I was last time. This is actually an enjoyable experience, not for you. I think you should come on camera next. Let's blow through to number seven, which is the Ginger Goat Tropic Star. And this has a heaping dash of tart mango, citrusy lemongrass, and the subtle sweetness of star anise, which is black pepper flavor? I mean, black licorice flavor? The ginger goat. Mm. I notice a little heat in the back of my throat, but nothing terrible or terrifying. But the next one, the next one I think is going to be our problem, right? Fuck! And just to prove to you that I bought... <gasps> uh-oh. Uh-oh, this showed up a little bit late. Okay, we're going to take our time. What animal 
Do you most animal you most want to have as a pet? An otter. Or I really want a bird. I've been wanting a bird for a long time, but I know they require a lot of maintenance, so I don't need the lecture. That's why I don't have one. But I would love to have a macaw. I think a macaw would be amazing. It'd just be a real life pirate. I'd be so excited. Pop it. Just to show you, I got the Beyond Insanity. I got the Beyond Insanity. We're gonna try it for the first time ever. I think I'm gonna need the bread. The bread actually helped a little bit last time. Did we get ice cream? I saw Cardi B with the ice cream. You do have ice cream? Sweet. All right. Here we go. A little bit of bread. Before, we're gonna just gonna amp ourselves up. Best celebrity sighting at Dodger Stadium. I mean, does Magic Johnson count? Because he's amazing. And he's also two feet taller than me. So it's just like super fun to get that perspective. He was really nice. Um, that or Brian Cranston, to be honest. Walter White is my favorite human being ever. Okay, we're going to take... I'm going to take the bomb. And I have to answer... Three questions back to back to back. Rapid fire. Here we go. Oh my God. Oh my God. No. Are you kidding? Huh? Oh my God. Yo, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Where's the fucking bucket? We're moving. What the f Oh my god! Stop! <laughs> There's one. I'm done. I'm done. Getting better. We're getting better. We're getting on the back side of it. I don't want to move on. I'm done.
These are some great thumbnails for like a Pornhub video. This sucks, man. My teeth are hurting. Is it possible that I lost my hearing? I lost my hearing. I can't hear shit. Unusual job you would love to do. I'd love to be a fucking zookeeper. Is that, is that fine? I wanna answer these questions. I'm so pissed. Pick one, world's tallest bungee jump or dive with sharks, dive with sharks. I don't like heights. One more, favorite daytime Vegas thing, slot machines. Yes, that counts. Where do you swim in Vegas? Oh, pools, like day clubs? <laughs> I did not know what you were saying. <laughs> I was like the Hoover Dam. I don't. I'm so glad you're having a great time. Bro, this sucks. This fing sucks. I hate it. I don't know why a green thought this would be good. At You want to do number nine? I don't want to do number nine. Dawson's hot sauce. Zuzu seven spot. Seven pot. Get ready for a spice rush from potent seven pot peppers plus sweet maple syrup, sambuca, and fennel seed. No, dude, I don't. <laughs> I don't want to do this. That really sucked. And honestly, the only thing that helped was breathing through it and literally just almost holding my breath. I've literally lost my hearing. Zuzu seven spot, seven pot. I'm taking one bite. I'm losing the other one. I'm out of. Crumble it up and throw it my way. I'm like, I'm depressed at what's about to come. That one's not bad. The bomb was. Thank. Now I get it. Now the now the roller coaster makes sense because that one, the de bomb beyond insanity, by far was the hottest one I've ever tasted, and it definitely was a change up from. Damn it, it's kicking. <laughs> oh no. Oh! Okay, it died. I think it died. I think it died. It died. Jesus, dude. Okay, I. Last time I poured the last dab sauce on it, on the wing, and I drenched it. I mean, I drenched it. And I really, honest to God, thought I was going to take a trip to the hospital. So I'm not going to do that this time because I did it once. I don't need to do it again. That it, it got to a point where I could not think or see straight and my mouth was in so much pain. Pain. But we will take a bite of the last dab. For grace sake, this actually was a much better ride than the last one. Because I'm riding off of it a little bit. And the last one 
is the Hot Ones, the Last Dab Experience, and this one is advertised as their hottest sauce yet. And I'm just not looking forward to this, but YOLO. Uh-uh. I'm not even doing it. Spit it out. Uh-uh. Uh oh! Oh my god! Mother of <laughs> on a stick! The bread's gonna help. We're gonna nope, we're gonna ride through this. We're gonna ride through this. Look at me. Don't. Don't. We got this. Don't. Look at me. Look at me. We're gonna breathe through it. <laughs> breathe through it. Look at me. Don't cry. Don't you dare cry on me. You <laughs> don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, are you okay? It's okay. We're on the back end. Breathe through it. Are you not getting the back end of it? How big of a bite did you take? Why would you do that to yourself? I am not the one who needs a camera on me right now. Breathe. Y'all, we made it to the end. I'm actually doing... Great, because I spit it out. Overall, a much better ride than season 21 for sure. That was a smoother ride. One through six was great. Seven was a little bit of a heat. Eight, I hate that sauce. Nine and 10 were nice. Season 21 was brutal and painful. And I'm very glad that this one actually, I'm going to incorporate. Uh, I honestly think my favorite one out of all of them in this season 22 run of sauces is the Angry Goat. The blistered shishito and garlic was by far the most memorable. It was delicious, and I'm going to be using that sauce on chicken until I run out of it. Check them out on Hedonist. The bomb beyond insanity was insane, dude. That was insane. I've officially closed out the mini series of the hot ones that I said I was going to do. So congratulations to me for accomplishing a social media goal that I had, which was just to start posting stupid shit on my YouTube. And I did it at a very painful, high intense expense. But we did it. We did it. God, sauce is in my nail. Sauce is in my nail. No! Oh my God. Do you have any more paper towels? My disgusting ass was licking the leftover remnants of what I had under my nail instead of washing my hands like a idiot. Guess what was under there? Bomb! It went straight to the back of my throat, bro. Straight to the back of my head. Oh!